Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a scrunchie using the Centro knitting machine. So I bought mine on Amazon. This is the 48 pin machine. I'm going to show you guys how to cast on. And yeah, so I use, to make the scrunchie, I use the waste yarn method. It's just easier for me to do it that way. So I'm going to be using just some plain white yarn as my waist yarn. So this is what we're going to use to cast on. So here is the yarn guide and I'm just going to make sure that my white peg is to the right side of that. Um, and I'm going to take my waist yarn and you're just going to loop it over that white peg like this, hold it, um, you can drop the, you can drop the one end and then hold the working yarn and you're going to go behind the next peg in front of, you're basically just weaving it as you twist your crank, my tripod's in the way, okay hold on, alright so as you twist it you're just going to go behind forward, behind, forward. I've seen a lot of change, been through. Now once we get back to the front, the first peg here, you're gonna stop cranking and I'm just gonna bring this yarn through the yarn guide. Make sure it actually goes through that. And then I'm going to bring it down onto our tension holder here. I like to put it in the middle one. I just feel like that gives me the best tension, but you can do whatever works for the yarn you're using. And now we're just going to start cranking. So go a little slowly at first here. Just make sure it catches all your yarn. So I'm just cranking it away from me. And then your stitch counter should count. So I'm just gonna crank this until I get to about five rounds. I usually do think that's a good amount for the waist yarn, so we're gonna do that. A lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago, but all will be okay. So, I stopped cranking now with my white peg just to the right of my guard here. And I'm just going to trim this thread, leave like a decent sized tail. I mean, it doesn't really matter. This is just a waist yarn, so it's fine. But now I'm going to pull that through my yarn guide here and I'm just going to loop it over this white peg and just drop it in the center. Just make sure it catches on the white peg there. And now I'm just going to crank a little bit so that the second peg is to the right of my yarn guide here. And I'm just going to add on the yarn I'm using for my scrunchie. So I'm using this velvet yarn. I've never tried using this in the knitting machine, so I'm hoping it's gonna work, but I think this would make like a really cute scrunchie, so I'm going to try it. So all we really have to do to add this in is take our yarn and just loop it over that peg, kind of like we did um, at the end of our cast on. Drop the tail, take your working yarn, and you're just going to pull this through your guide. I'm just gonna put this just on the middle tension, I think that'll probably be good. Um, anyway, I'm just going to reset my counter because now I'm going to do 20 rounds of this actual color we're using for our scrunchie. So I'm just going to start slow because I don't know how this yarn is going to behave in this knitting machine. I probably should have practiced this before I... Uh, you know, decided to film a video, but you know, we just gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> We're gonna learn together, guys. But I just like to watch, because sometimes my knitting machine doesn't like all yarns and it does drop stitches, so I'm just kind of 
babysitting it and going slow, at least on this first round, just to make sure everything catches. But so far, so good. I hear destiny and but I think everything's catching pretty good, which is surprising. Like, this actually runs through here super smoothly. I was afraid it was going to, like, get caught and stuff because I had some issues with some other yarn. But this is actually working pretty well. So, I'm going to go do 20 more rounds. Well, I've already got three rounds. I'm going to do 20 rounds total, and then we'll be back. It's calling. I'll keep my head up high through the downs and lows, and we're all going live. Still nobody knows, but I'm going to choose what's all right, so we just reached our 20 rounds, so I'm going to leave a little bit of a longer tail on this one just because I want to use it to sew our scrunchie together. So I'm going to leave kind of a longer tail um, on this one. And we're just going to do the same thing we did before, so I'm just taking this out of the yarn guide, making sure it's over that white hook, dropping it right in the center, and then I'm going back to our waist yarn and we're just going to weave this in and do five more rows of this one. So I'm just going to crank it a little bit. Go over this loop through my light yarn guide. If it would listen to me, that'd be great. Through the yarn guide, drop that. And now we're going to just crank for five more rows. And I just like to go slowly at first again. Right and take what comes and goes and ain't no one in life holding me back no more. I've seen a lot of Okay, so we just reached our fifth row of the second round of the waist yarn. So I'm just gonna go ahead, snip this off. You don't need a giant tail or anything, so we're just gonna be pulling this yarn out. But I'm gonna go ahead and just drop that in the center. We're not gonna be doing um a typical cast off with this just because we did use the waist yarn so we're literally just gonna crank for like two more rounds and this should just fall off the machine so let's do that there you go now we have what is going to be our scrunchie I think I dropped a stitch here we're just we're, we're gonna ignore that <laughs> uh, for the purposes of this video I'm gonna probably remake a swatch of this because <sighs> I didn't realize that dropped a stitch and that's annoying. I can probably fix it. We'll see what we can do. So if you're like me and you drop a stitch, I guess we'll just do a quick uh, how to fix this. So I got like a crochet hook thing that came with my machine. So really you just gotta kind of like loop these under. So I have a loop here that I see that fell. So I'm just gonna go in there and there sh you should see like that like strip right there. I'm gonna pull this through. So I have another loop like that. Then I'm just gonna kind of hold this, go back through the other end. And there should be another loop. Yeah, you should see the other like loop on the other side there. And I'm just gonna pull that through there uh, somehow that through and then I'm just gonna do this all the way up until I get to the top and I can kind of like hold it in the top there with um this like tail thread I'm gonna fix it really quick <laughs> okay so I think I just dropped that one stitch um, <clears throat> it happens when you don't watch and you don't go so like if you go too quickly sometimes it happens so I just I brought it all the way back up patched up that hole and I just left my stick there just to kind of hold it so I know where that is. But um, we're going to sew this together now. So I have a yarn needle that also came with the center machine. You can use any kind of yarn needle you have. Um, I'm just going to use this one. And you're just going to want to find where you have your long tail. So mine's over here. Got the yarn needle threaded. And now, so now what we're going to do is you have this like tube type thing here. So it'll be like this. Um, we're going to go ahead and you can use whichever side you want. If you want like the rib looking side or if you want like the knit looking side. Whichever one strikes you. 
so what I'm going to do is take this side here and we're just going to fold it in half for the other side here so like you're going to create kind of like a tube type thing that's just folded in half all the way around so I'm just going to bring my top edge to my bottom edge and we should be able to see can I zoom you in more probably not Okay, so let's bring y'all up here more. So you should be able to see where your waist yarn is and where your like project yarn starts. So for instance, I can see, you can see like that little loop there for like the waist yarn and then this little loop here. So that little loop there on the top is what you're gonna wanna like sew through so that you don't drop any stitches when you remove your waist yarn. So I'm going to be taking this here and I'll have to figure out that mess up later but basically I'm going to take my yarn through this first loop here, this first loop here on, on the top edge and then I'm going to match that up to the loop on the bottom edge right there and we're just basically doing like a whip stitch kind of thing. So I'm just going to pull that all the way through. Try not to get your other yarn caught in things. I think we're fine. Okay. So that's like one stitch. And now I'm going to try to find where the other one is, which I think is right here. So I'm just going underneath that. Then we're going to find the next one on the opposite side and go through that and just pull it through. So again, this is my next spot. So again, this is my next spot here. Pull that through that loop. And we're going to go through this loop here. You just really want to make sure that you're catching every loop or your scrunchie will probably fall apart when we take out the waist yarn. But using the waist yarn, you should be able to like tell pretty easily where using the waist yarn you should be able to tell pretty easily where the loops you need to go through are that's kind of why I like using it it is a little bit easier when you use normal yarn and not like velvet yarn but I thought this would make a cool scrunchie so yeah we're just going through both edges and as you can see over here we're starting to like close it up um, we still got to close up that side, but yeah, I'm just going to go all the way around, um, leave a couple, I'm going to go around and leave a couple open at the other ends just so we can thread our elastic through, but I'm just going to really quickly try to finish this up. Okay, so I finished doing a whip stitch all the way around. I left like four stitches undone just so we have a little like one inch gap right there so we can thread our elastic through. Um, so yeah, I have... I just cut a 13 inch piece of elastic. I have pretty thick hair, so that works for me. Um, just kind of measure and do whatever you think will work best for you. I did 13 inches, and I have this like elastic threader thing that I got from Joann's. Um, it just kind of makes it a little bit easier to thread the elastic through. So you just kind of thread it through. And I'm just gonna bring this through our scrunchie here. Trying not to like go through the yarn. I'll hold the bottom. I'm used to doing this with fabric scrunchies, so it's kind of weird. Alright, so I got my other end here. Bada bing. And then I like to just tie these off, so I'm just gonna make sure it has some good like stretchability before I do that. And I'm just gonna give it a little tie here. I just tie it three times. It works for me. Mm, I don't 
I'm just going to go ahead and tuck that just back into the scrunchie. And now we could finish whip stitching around to finish off the scrunchie. So we're just going to do the same thing we were doing before. So again, I'm just finding these little the stitches here on both sides. Just that elastic in the way. So now you just want to go around and actually make sure that you caught every stitch because you don't want anything to fall out when we remove the waist yarn. But anyway, I'm going to tie off our ends here. So just some simple knots. Now we can go ahead and we can remove this waist yarn. One of these you should just be able to pull, yeah, you should just be able to like pull it pretty um, easily. Sometimes it's a little weird. If you just pull it gently, it should just unravel. The one side's going to be easier than the other side just because it was on the top. The bottom side will be a little more difficult. If it's also being like extra difficult, you can cut it. Just be careful not to cut your actual thread. Alright, so now all my waist yarn is gone and I just like to double check around the edges that I actually got all everything uh, caught. Which I, did, which I did, so yay. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna grab our yarn needle again, and we are going to weave in these loose edges here. I'm just gonna cut that a little bit because it's too long. This is pretty easy, you just kinda like take your yarn needle. I just like stab it through the center a few times, just kinda wherever. I mean, it's already tied in a knot, so. Should be fine. Um, once you do that a few times, you can just go ahead and trim off those tails. And our scrunchie is complete. If you want it to be a little bit, this is more of like a chunky, larger kind of scrunchie. I have thick hair, so I always go a little bit bigger. If you want something smaller, you can always do less, um, less rows, like maybe 15 or 10. We did do 20 on this one, so pretty big um, also you can do your elastic a little bit thinner um, if you want to I just like to be able to wrap it around my hair twice but yeah it's pretty good pretty sturdy everything is sewn correctly I really like the feel of this yarn on these scrunchies I think it's like super super comfy but yeah if you want a smaller scrunchie than this you can by all means make a smaller scrunchie um, this is just kind of big, but yeah. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys what it looks like on. Don't mind the hair, it's a Sunday. We're just gonna kinda <laughs> go down here. All right, let's see what we got. <laughs> the weirdest stance ever. I love how soft this scrunchie is though. Okay. It actually holds my hair super well. What the hell? I feel like it wouldn't give me a scrunchy headache. Like usually. We're gonna try to make a cuter bun here, guys. Yeah, usually I get like ponytail headaches, but how's that look? I think that looks cute. That's fun. I'm probably gonna wear these. That's super comfy, actually. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. These turned out super cute. Um. Super comfy. I really like this. I'm going to wear this like a lot now. Um, I just feel like I always have like little derpy scrunchies that just hurt my head. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial. I hope it helped you learn how to make a scrunchie. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I upload every Sunday. So I will see you guys again next week. Bye. <laughs> I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain, some things